This video is a quick introduction to some of the buttons and icons you'll see on your screen in the Touch User Interface. You should already know how to access your site in the Author environment, so let's get to the business of what we're looking at here. We're on the home page of the training site in the Authoring environment. At the upper right are the words Edit and Preview. You'll be using these two buttons frequently as you browse and edit your sites. Remember the following. To browse the site, you must be in Preview. To edit, you must be in edit. And in edit, you cannot browse the site. Note the icons in the upper left of the screen. When you're in preview, there are only two. When you're in edit, there are three. So let's go to edit and find out what they do. The icon on the far left that looks like a microwave oven is the toggle sidebar icon. If you click it, a sidebar expands. By default, the sidebar will display images in your DAM. The assets in the sidebar will generally be available to drag and drop into components. Components are also in this sidebar. Click on the middle of three vertically displayed icons at the left of the sidebar, and now we can see the components. They can also be added to your page by dragging and dropping. Toggle the sidebar closed by clicking the microwave oven again. Next, the middle icon that looks like an abacus is the page information menu with commands including Open Properties, Publish, and Unpublish. The next command in the Page Information menu that you're going to find useful is View as Published, which opens another tab and shows your page as if it were live. This is different from having the page in Preview, because external links will not work in Preview, whereas they will when you view as Published. The other command you'll find useful is View in Admin, which opens another tab with a view of the Sites directory. This is handy for when you want to create a new page. This third icon that looks like a tablet and a phone will display a ruler that allows you to see how your page will look on different mobile devices and an ordinary desktop. And with that, let's move on to another topic. Remember, we're here to support you, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Email lsatechnologyservices at umich.edu.